the galaxies. I seem to have been transported to a strange alien landscape. The Alliance believes that the lair... Tim, would it not be more appropriate to remove the doll from its box? It's not a doll, Pleskett. It's an action figure. The box helps retain its value. And only the first line of Driscoll action figures came with the voice feature. Great cosmic galaxies! Hey, hey, hey! Heavy, heavy, zippy girl plant tonic is guaranteed to work even on the most neglected of household plants. Soon these will be identical in every way to the jungle in the tar box episode. First tar box crew over the planet's surface. Right. Better luck next time, Pluskid. Come on, we're gonna be late for school. from outer space? Well, my wish came true. My school, the only place where being an alien is almost normal. Girls, check this out. How does he do it, Plesk? It's like he's good at everything. An intergalactic marvel for sure. You never know. One day you too might achieve exploits of heroic magnitude. <laughs> show my stepfather won't bathe. You'll see why when you meet Ron. I seem to have been transported to a grotesque Tarboxian archive. He's a pig. That man is a pig. That sounds like a female in distress. Jordan caught the frisbee, and it was also interesting how Jordan... Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. I am so sick and tired of Jordan. <sighs> what I wouldn't do to make that guy look like a doofus for once. Hey, your glory cup will come, Tim. Always remember the old heavy, heavy saying, the florimple never smells its own elbow. Goobero? <sighs> Thanks for the tip, Plusk. Deal's a deal. I did the socks, you're on dust bunnies. Perfect. Hey! Who took the Lance Driscoll out of his box? Step away from the boy, foul alien dwarf. Don't shoot! He's our friend! 
friend. Would you excuse us for a moment? Let's get. Do you know who that is? It's Captain Driscoll. As in the action figure Captain Driscoll? It appears my heavy, heavy, zippy girl plant tonic works after all. Just not on plants. I must reverse this mistake at once. Reverse it? Are you crazy? Husky, do you know what this means? It means that I have my very own superhero. Clearly, there's no danger on this planet. My mission here is complete. Dangerous here. Very, very dangerous. My mom, I'm Momulus, uh, evil gremlin of the Clean Rumian Empire, may be back any minute now. Momulus? Uh, yeah, she's an ally of the Astro Moons, like in episode 34 of Charbox Moon Warriors, where. I mean, like that time you were imprisoned on the slave planet and made the life pact with the dying starship captain. How do you know that? I never told anyone that. Uh, because the starship captain was my father. Great cosmic galaxies. The prophecy. You're the clairvoyant one. Exactly. And my name is... <laughs> Goomeron of the... <laughs> Selectrovac Stratospheres. Uh, the Alliance sent you here to be my guide and mentor. Of course. The Alliance works in mysterious ways. What about the foul alien dwarf? My name is Pluskett. Uh, my morally ambiguous science officer. Ah. Tell me, what danger lurks here? Uh, well, um, the Astromutants are planning another invasion. And, in fact, these very premises have been contaminated with a preemptive first strike of the microscopic spider virus. With this detoxifying unit. We can exfoliate the virus from the premises! Step aside, young Gooberon. The spider mite virus has been exfoliated, Gooberon. Excellent work. I'll just, uh, finish my transponder report to the Alliance. Captain Driscoll? What's happening to him? According to these instructions, the tonic must be administered every hour. Without it, Captain Driscoll will be reverted to his normal state. Here, give me this. Tim, as your science officer, I feel I must warn you that Captain Driscoll does not belong here. Pluskett, if anyone can make Jordan look like a doofus, it's Lance. <laughs> But to him, <coughs> come on, Pleskett. This is our big chance. But you must promise to turn him back tomorrow. Captain Driscoll, on this planet, we, uh, we need energy beverage to survive. Trust me, this stuff kicks. Oh. Jordan Lynch. So this is the uncle you told me about. You know, you look familiar. Hey, where were you last night? Overseeing a convoy of Academy cadets into the Warbling Galaxy. All right, then. Uh, uh, what he means is he was at the gym. It's a new one downtown. How do you like his workout gear? Camp Tanaka, cabin four, right? Android. Say no more, young Gooberon. Hmm.
Those suspicious creatures? Well, that's evil George Orr and his cheesy underling humanoid. Advanced scouts sent by the Astro Mutants. So, uh, who's the dude in the uh, tinfoil? Uh, allow me to introduce Uncle Lance. And, uh, what planet did Uncle Lance's hairdo come from? <laughs> Virgus 4 is not a planet, per se. It's an artificial satellite built after the robot rebellion of 2125. What he means is it's all the rage in Paris. Paris? Uh, yeah. Actually, Uncle Lance is quite stylish for an astronaut. Astronaut? Yeah. Try astronaut slash stuntman slash all-star pro wrestler. Come on, take your best shot. That's right, George Orr. Take your best shot. <laughs> <laughs> Your funeral, pal. <laughs> wow, Tim. Your uncle's like... You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh no! The frisbee's up on Mr. Fleshman's roof! That frisbeerian is loaded with top secret alliance information. We must have it back immediately! Say no more, young Gooberon! <laughs> Carboxian ruse, Tim. Well, as long as we keep on giving him the tonic and as long as no one finds out that he's a, a toy, <laughs> then I guess we're okay. Oop, time for another dose. Couldn't hurt. <laughs> Any word about the invasion, Gooberon? The what? Oh, um, the Alliance has a communications blackout, and it won't be up until supper time. Gooberon, I think it's time for more energy beverage. The atmosphere is beginning to affect me. You got it, my man. Shall we fill her up with regular? The energy beverage is gone! Great cosmic galaxies! Who would do this act of evil? And why? So this is the stuff that made Tompkins' goofy toy into an all-powerful superhero. Oh, it ought to be worth millions. Just think of the possibilities. We could have our own personal G.I. Joe army. G.I. Joes? Try Barbies? Barbie? What? Oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> hey, watch it. That stuff's valuable. Sorry, boss. I don't like it. It's quiet. Too quiet. <clears throat> Uncle Lance, right? That's right. Miss... Weintraub. Miss Weintraub, has anyone ever told you that your eyes look just like the stars of Orion? I hate to burst your bubble, Lance, but that's the worst pickup line I've ever heard. Strange. I'm Captain Lance Driscoll. Women of all galaxies find me irresistible. Perhaps a new strain of the spider mite virus has infected the females on this planet. Popular frisbee. 
Frisbee? That Frisbeerian is loaded with top secret alliance information. Frisbee? Hey there, Lance. What do you make of this? Cocker Spaniel? I'm trapped in some galactic labyrinth of deceit and lies. Care for a Gubero? And my name is Gubero. Gubero? Great cosmic galaxies! Suit yourself. First the Frisbee, then the Gubero's, and now this. What you told me was a porcelain teleport device is really a toilet. Let me explain. Enough lies, Gubron. There's no real danger on this planet. Now, why have you brought me here? Well, Lance, Captain Driscoll, I've been meaning. Ah! virus has mutated, Gooperon. It's just as you foretold. The invasion has begun. Follow me. Gangway, robot and red man. That's it. Uncle Lance is Lance Driscoll, Tarbox guy. <laughs> Tarbox guy? Whoa, 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 whoa. Not so fast. Please tell me what's going on here. Basically? We brought to life my mint condition vintage action figure using alien plant tonic, and now the tonic's been stolen, and there's a giant spider on the loose. Oh, giant spider. <laughs> giant spider? <laughs> ah, somebody help me! Help! I'm too young to die. Hang on, Jojo. Even you do not deserve this. Galaxies! My plutonium pistol is useless! The free spirit! consumed by the giant mutant spider. Lance! Is that such a bad thing? Cooper, a true tar boxer knows that he must sacrifice his own feelings for the greater good. He must save Georgia. Ah! Hurry, Cooper, it's coming back! He's coming! Larry, do you have any more of that Woodlander bunker pellet? Send it to regular. Is it gone? Yikes. You aren't kidding. That baby's enormous. Get it away from me. Oh, no. Let's get his hair's turning into plastic. Little problem with the toy, Tompkins? Like, why would you even be caring about someone who's not even real? Is it true what George Orr says, Gubron? That I'm... Not real. Well, the truth is, uh, I, uh, George Orr was using the Glauconian mind control to weaken you. And he spun a web of lies. Then I am real. Yes, Lance. You're as real as they come. There is not much time left. 
If Captain Driscoll does not drink the tonic now, he will revert to his... You know, Tim. A true tar boxer must sacrifice his own feelings for the greater good. Yeah, I know. I'll be right back. Remember the tar box, my son. Thank you. 